two ways that women suck in the military. One, they suck at what they're paid to do. And secondly, they perform fellatio. They suck men in order to get preferential treatment. Be as mad as you want that I'm saying this. Hey, my wife is in the military. My daughter's in the military. My sister, doesn't matter. The likeliness of her not being good at what she does, yet having men have to make up for it and not get the credit and give your daughter, wife, otherwise the credit, it's very likely that she's not pulling her own load, but because of social norms, we have to, women are in the military, they're working hard at jobs we thought they could never do, but they're not able to do what they're actually wanting to do. Doesn't matter that you're frustrated that I'm saying this, that's what happens. You can ask anyone in the military. You can even ask women in the military, then they will tell you, they, they don't like you know, a hardworking woman in the military, doesn't like a woman just getting a free ride like so many women in the military do. Even the ones who say they work hard, they really don't want to, the ones who don't work hard but say they do, sometimes they'll defend women though. Uh, the uh, Women will defend the, the woman. I was given a speech, I was on the speech and debate team for the school, and I gave a speech about women in the military saying, not that they don't work hard necessarily, but they often don't work hard, and that if they don't work hard, they get to stay in the military because men will be made to pick up their slack. I'm just saying these things that happen and a female Marine took issue with it. And we're talking afterwards and she's saying, I worked really hard and if women don't pull their weight, then why last winter when they needed people to volunteer for this thing, it was me and a bunch of women. I don't know, because the men were off doing something harder or what are you talking about? This one thing? You... And I told her, I said, you would know if you really do work hard in the military, you know that a lot of women don't and they still get by. And what this does, this does a couple of things. One, it teaches women to be incompetent and it sets them up to be pretentious and inept, just not good at what they do, yet expecting appreciation. And the biggest problem, well, maybe not the biggest, but a huge problem is it sets them up to be scorned because men in the military, they worship women and oh, they can't wait to get on shore leave and have sex with all the women. But they do not respect women because they're put amongst any woman who wants to be in the military gets to be in the military, no matter how incompetent. And so military men have a hard time not just disrespecting women based on the fact they're women because every woman the, the military man is around, it's like, hey, you and the woman, go and carry that log. And he's like, great, I'm going to carry the log and she's going to talk about some time that something happened. So women are being set up to be objects of scorn because two ways that women suck in the military is what they're paid to do, they suck at it, and they also are oftentimes busy performing fellatio on their supervising officers to get preferential treatment. Be as mad as you wanted me, it still happens.